In this problem, we have to write sine theta in terms of cotangent theta if theta is in quadrant three. So the first thing we have to do is figure out what identity to use. So here's what I'm thinking. If we use this identity here, sine squared plus cosine squared theta, we'll be able to solve for sine, but we won't have a cotangent. So instead, I'm thinking we can use this one, one plus cotangent squared theta equals cosecant squared theta. And the reason is we already have a cotangent here and we actually do have a sine, right? Because cosecant is one over sine. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and write cosecant as one over sine. So we have one plus cotangent squared of theta and that's equal to one over sine squared of theta. Okay, so now let's go ahead and solve for sine. So we have a sine squared on the bottom, so let's go ahead and multiply both sides by sine squared to get rid of it. So it goes away. And what you do to one side, you do to the other. Okay, so then we have sine squared theta, parentheses one plus cotangent squared theta. And this is equal to one. All right, we're looking for sine. It's being multiplied by this one plus cotangent squared theta. So to get rid of it, we'll just divide both sides by that. So let's go ahead and divide by one plus cotangent squared theta, and then divide by one plus cotangent squared theta. So these cancel. So we have sine squared theta, and that's equal to one over one plus cotangent squared theta. Okay, so we have to solve for sine, so we'll take the square root of both sides. Because we have a variable term and it's being squared and we're taking the square root, it's really important to always put a plus or minus. So this is plus or minus. The square root of one is one over the square root of one plus cotangent squared theta. We could rationalize here um, a lot of times in trig. That's something people like to do. So let's go ahead and do it. So times one plus cotangent squared theta over just multiplying by one in order to um, eliminate the square root that is in the denominator. So we have sine theta is equal to plus or minus. So up top we'll have you know this times one will just be this piece, so the square root, one plus cotangent squared theta. Then on the bottom we have, um, well, square root times the square root will go away, so it'll just be one plus cotangent squared theta. So now we need to use some other information, maybe. Uh, we need to investigate whether it's just plus, it's just minus, or is it both? So we're told it's in quadrant three. It says theta is in quadrant three. So if we think about the unit circle, so on the unit circle, every ordered pair is of the form cosine theta comma sine theta. So in particular, sine is the y coordinate on the unit circle. So because we're down here in quadrant three, um, that means sine is negative. So we want the negative answer only. So the solution to this problem will be sine theta equals negative square root one plus cotangent squared theta over and then one plus cotangent squared theta. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Good luck.